What my 87-year-old French grandpa made for lunch? Listen to me now Listen to me now Listen to me now Listen to me now Listen to me now
I like to call this steak the special occasion steak, but considering how often I've been making it, I've had to make up a few special occasions. For example, tonight is the one year anniversary of my mother's colonoscopy. Go her! Here are the three tips I wish someone had told me when I made my very first steak. Number one, the marbling. While ratings like prime, choice, or select can be useful in determining what steak to buy, the best judge is your own eyes. The more of the little white lines throughout the steak there are, the tastier it's going to taste. Number two, the internet is full of wacky and possibly dangerous techniques for figuring out when your steak is done. My tip, just buy a thermometer. You'll never mess up a steak with a thermometer, whether you like it at the juicy medium rare of 120 degrees or the tasteless well done of 160. And finally, keep it simple, stupid. That applies with sides, marinades, or sauces. A good steak should stand by itself basted with some butter and herbs. The side should complement the flavors. I made fingerling potatoes and asparagus today, but honestly, the steak is so delicious, I could eat it by itself.